and I'm being joined by Nusra Jahan. Uh, she is the TMC MP as well as an Indian um, Indian actor. She's acted across uh, in different languages, including Bengali films. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my first question to you, Miss Nusra Jahan. How do you really see what is playing out with terms of the strong reactions, rare reactions and comments made by Amitabh Bachchan, Shah Rukh Khan in the context of protests that are happening across India, uh, but also on terms of civil liberties and the kind of war of words, political war of words that have followed since then? Firstly, let me say that um, um, they are legendary actors, Shah Rukh Khan and Amitabh Bachchanji. They have been um, coming to the Kolkata Film Festival for a very long time now and uh, um, we are so glad that they have been associated with us for so many years. They have always spoken for the welfare of the film, Indian film industry and Amitji has always spoken in favor of films, in favor of people who are associated with films. It was on a very neutral ground, it was on a very humane ground. It is just the political leaders who are trying to, like uh, the BJP leaders, who are trying to twist it in a different way and give it more political color to it and thus trying to create rifts um, amongst uh, communities and uh, that is um, not very healthy. Mr. Johan, would you agree to the context in which these comments are coming up today is being seen as so important, specifically with even uh, what's happening, the kind of reactions that the Shah Rukh Khan star, Shah Rukh Khan and Deepika Padukone star, uh, Pathan is getting with even uh, some of the BJP leaders, ministers and MLAs from Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh now saying they will not allow the movie to be screened because they allegedly hurt Hindutva sentiments. Quite the very context in which what Amitabh Bachchan said about the censorship, liberties... I Right, liberty is the word. So the last time um, um, I remember that we live in a country which is democratic, where people uh, can always voice their opinions, where people are supposedly supposed to be free. But I guess this uh, BJP government has always been trying to um, rewrite the constitution and has been continuously directing um, people as in what to do, what to say, what to eat, what to watch on TV, what to wear, what to study in school. So I really, it's very sad and it's very frightening. I, and I do not know where as Indians are we heading towards because uh, um, it feels like your freedom is being curbed down. And uh, coming back to films, films are a separate entity and made for the entertainment of people. I think the best course of action would be let the viewers have their opinion about every film because it is viewers who decide the fate of the film and it is made for the viewers. So the film and viewers are directly correlated to each other and it is the viewers who needs to react towards the film, not any political leader who would particularly choose a color um, of uh, Hindu and call it uh, the color of Hindutva or call it the color of any other um, religion and uh, cause a stir amongst religious sentiments, uh, use wrong agendas, use wrong um, and have wrong motives just to create hate amongst communities under the pretext of cinema. I totally condemn that. Ms. Jahan, such strong statements at such an important time, but do you think all this political war of words has drowned all of that? Speci um, let me also ask you for the comment or reactions to what Amit Malviya, BJP, BJP's leader, has claimed in his tweet. And if he could play that tweet out, he has hit out uh, at uh, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. How would you, as TMC MP, respond to that? I have already responded to that on my Twitter handle. Let me, I, I just have a small request to Mr. Malviya if he's hearing me via your show, via your channel, that, uh, sir, you've been given a huge responsibility as the chief of the IT cell of BJP, uh, thus having a lot of duties and respons responsibilities that you need to shoulder. 
please keep that in mind and give the correct facts and uh, uh, correct information to the people who look for you, who look up to you for the right information. Because as far as uh, reports say, you have reported 14 misinformation till now, and you're very and these days you're more famously known as uh, the fake peddler of information. And uh, I really would not want to see you on that light. I have uh, immense hope that you mend your ways uh, soon. Ms. Jahan, even as we speak, there are protests going on. And unfortunately, even though the protest by some people, some groups is against uh, the movie Pathan, now it's reached the venue of where Shah Rukh Khan is shooting his next movie. Ironically, just the levels and layers of censorship that Amitabh Bachchan spoke about. You know, I do believe that uh, films will always, or any other, um, uh, you know, um, situation can have mere speculation, but it is upon us to make the right choices. And uh, uh, BJP government has always, uh, um, you know, somehow endorsed and uh, propagated uh, uh, this uh, mere speculation and uh, caused a stir amongst the communities and always given a hype to certain situations. Uh, gave a political angle or a religious angle to it and um, it is them who are trying to hurt the sentiments of people and they are misguiding people in the wrong way and I think this should stop because uh, cinemas uh, um, that are made um, cinemas have been um, uh, entertaining people for like um, so many years now um, and uh, you always make a cinema keeping in mind the storyline and the actors play the character and they dress up according to the character, um, they perform according to the character. So I think you should leave, leave the cinema part alone, the people alone. And uh, like I said in the beginning, because it is made with keeping entertainment in mind, uh, let the viewers and uh, the cinema lovers decide what they like and what they don't. In case they do not like something, they will obviously voice their opinion. In case they like something, they will always be in the support of the cinema. But leave it on to them. Nobody else should uh, cause stir amongst uh, people and uh, make more, more of a political agenda out of some mere speculation. Right. Ms. Jahan, um, I know you're a TMC MP, but you're also a woman and you are an actor. I have to ask you this question. Is it about the color saffron alone or is it also about gender? Because, and I would request our team if we have those visuals, if we could play out. Well, we've had in numerous instances of people wearing saffron and dancing. We've had the Padukone wearing an orange bikini and dancing and that's an objection. But we also have visuals of another actor, Akshay Kumar, who's been, who was wearing saffron. There were women around him dancing around wearing short saffron kurtas. But no one really raked up this issue of uh, hurting certain sentiments at that time. So why suddenly when a woman is wearing an orange bikini? So is this just about so ideology see, or sentiments or about gender as well? Doing? No, let me, let me be very clear on this. So it is not about anybody's ideologies. It is about one party who's in power who's trying to create such picture in front of people. So what they're doing is anything to do with any film which is religious, spiritual, um, is endorsed well, it is highly appreciated. And now you see, again they talk, start talking about culture, they start talking about women wearing bikini. Uh, they have a problem with everything. They have a problem when, with women wearing hijab. They have a problem with women wearing bikini. So it is them who is going to tell the new age uh, women of India what to wear. Like I mentioned before, they are trying to command our lives in telling us what we should wear, what we should eat, how we should talk, how we should walk, what we should learn in school and what we should watch on TV. So we are completely directed in this uh, so-called new evolved India at the moment and it is so scary. I uh, fear that uh, in the longer run, uh, I do not know where would it take all of us. See, you mentioned an important pa point. And you may said it's not only about ideologies, it's about certain people telling us what to do. But several references being made to Deepika Padukone having gone to JNU at the time of protests, that also bringing up ideology. So I, yes. 
uh, there are concerns that just because she made her presence felt at a time when there were serious protests happening in JNU, so, like, she is now being when targeted. She, when, when she did that, when she did that, her film had uh, the, her film had to face the adversities. Her film uh, release had to face a lot of problems during that time. So if you join the dots now, you'll be able to understand that this uh, government has been um, somehow trying to control everything from artists to people to um, films to um, what to wear. So like I said, they have a problem. They always had a, they had a problem with jihad uh, with uh, with hijab. Um, sorry, I stand corrected. Uh, and uh, then now they have a problem with bikini also. Uh, but you know, my party stand is very clear. We do not have problem with women wearing whatsoever because they really have the, it's their personal choice to wear whatever they want. Uh, it's not about being an actor or being a politician or being a housewife. Women today in India are free to wear what they want and how they want. It is their personal choice and uh, none of us have the rights to question that. Right. Very important wo wo words and unfortunately we have to reiterate them in 2022 uh, where parties or people are trying to say what to watch, what not to watch. Again, a reminder of the context of what legendary actors like Shah Rukh Khan as well as Amitabh Bachchan spoke at the, uh, at the Kolkata yeah, International Film Festival. I believe it should Festival. be a reminder to every Indian at the moment. It should be a reminder to every Indian at the moment. To, uh, to the fact that where are we heading towards because uh, uh, as far as I know India is supposedly supposed to be a democratic country and it has always been and I don't know why democracy is suffering today. Right, we leave it at that. Thank you really so much blind to this Ms. Nusra Jahan for joining us on this very important topic. Thank you. And it's time for a short break.